This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 25th of April. I'm James Spann. The warm-up continues this week, and the weather stays nice and calm for a while right here in the middle of our tornado season. That's a good thing. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. Who's awake at this hour of the day? There's downtown Birmingham looking north from the Daniel Building. It's clear and cool. Temperatures are mostly in the 50s. There's a look at downtown Jasper. It's seen from the King Building in Walker County and up the road in Winston County. A look at downtown Haleyville. Well, the pattern beginning to uh, lessen a bit. The amplitude is decreasing. The western ridge and eastern trough is still there. And it's still pretty cool this morning for this time of the year. In fact, we got some 40s over northeast Alabama. The cool spot, Fort Payne at 43. But look at the shoals. They've got 63, a 20-degree swing across the Tennessee Valley. But the warm air wins the battle in coming days. Severe weather potential later today. Got a slight risk of severe weather well to the north of here. Cities like Louisville, Indianapolis, the southern suburbs of Chicago involved in that. Then tomorrow, a slight risk over the western high plains. And look at the rain for the next five days. This is suggesting nothing through the weekend for most of Alabama. Any shower should be over far north Alabama near the Tennessee border. And this is valid through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars. Got a northwest flow aloft here and down below that should be a dry day and a mostly sunny day. And again, the warming trend continues. The high today should be around 80. Tomorrow, low 80s are likely, high close to 82. And again, uh, notice with a cold front north of us, there's some evidence there could be a few showers up in the Tennessee Valley of extreme north Alabama, Huntsville, the Shoals, Scottsboro. But down here, we're not going to mention rain. In Friday, that warm front, the front begins to lift north. There's a warm front in response to the surface low over Kansas, 1,000 millibars. And again, Friday just looks warm and dry with mid 80s. The GFS is showing 85. And Saturday, as we start the weekend, that front way north of here, just warm and dry. I think we can take out that slight chance of a shower. Looks like a mostly sunny day with a high in the mid 80s. And even Sunday looks dry now. You know, on other runs, we have seen that try and push a weak front end through here. But this time, it's just not happening. And I think we'll definitely start to trend drier in the forecast and also warmer. Uh, mid 80s will continue Sunday if this is right. And this would suggest no rain at all. And then Monday of next week, ridging is in place, a flat ridge down here. And that should keep things just quiet, I guess. Uh, you might mention a slight chance of a shower, but forget that cooler air the model advertised earlier. In fact, now the GFS is printing 87 on Monday. Mostly dry. Tuesday, same thing, mid-80s. And Wednesday of next week, all of the good wave action stays north of here. So uh, just a dry, warm-looking pattern for the next seven days. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 10th of May. Pretty good-looking trough over the east, and that would suggest some cooler air. But we all know that will probably vanish in future runs. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or on the TV side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.